Okay, so recently I have been receiving quite some messages from people like saying that how do you set up a binding phrase to your Express OLS radio. And since my Jumper T20 just arrived in the mail today, I thought I might as well just do a video to set it up. So run through the process so you guys know how it was done. And yep, so this is not going to be a very fancy video. It's just going to be a step-by-step -step process of how to do that. So you can follow up the next step to go to like uh, set up your quads. All right, let's get going. Okay, so before I begin, I want you to know that this tutorial is aiming for most of the radios on the market as long as it runs on HTX or OpenTX or possibly OpenTX. So basically, what, H what HTX and OpenTX is, is basically the operation system of your radio. So HTX is coming from OpenTX, so basically they are almost the same system. H OpenTX just doesn't have any more updates, but HTX2 will over and they just keep updating so this is the simple story of it so let's go back to the topics htx is basically the operation system of your radio so basically like a windows to your pc or ios to your mac so if you open it you can see that there's going to be htx sign popping out so the things that you're seeing it's basically the windows of your radio so htx is the windows of your radio remember that and it's going to be easy Okay, so once you have powered it on, you're gonna have to go to your setting. So setting, if you have a radio master, it's gonna have a button on the side, just basically, you just press that button. But if you have the T20 like me, or you have another radio, you have to find the button where it is. So for the T20, basically, you're gonna have to press this button right here. You're gonna long press it for it to enter the setting menu. So there's gonna be a tool section. You're gonna to go to the Express OLS, Lua script icon, you're going to use this scroller button or some kind of button for you to press just to enter it. Okay, so most of the HTX system should look exactly like that, no matter which one you have. Okay, so I don't know, there's kids running around around my community, so my, there might be some noise, so I apologize for it. Okay, so let me go. Okay, so next step, let's scroll down and you're going to go to Wi-Fi connectivity and you're gonna enable Wi-Fi. So this will allow you to bro start broadcasting Wi-Fi signal. So our computer, we can use our computer to connect it and we can flash it. Okay, so let's jump to the next step to the computer. That's when we're gonna set up our binding phrase. Okay, so with our radio powered on broadcasting Wi-Fi signal, you're gonna come to your PC, go to your PC Wi-Fi icon. You're basically going to go to the Wi-Fi here. It's already connected, but let me disconnect it and reconnect it. So you're gonna to go to the Express LRS TX. This is the one you wanted to select. And if this is the first time you're connecting, it may want you to input some password. The password is gonna be basically Express LRS all lowercase. If this is the first time, but after you connect once, it shouldn't be asking you again. So you're just gonna hit connect right here. So a separate web page is going to pop out like this right directly and you can see that basically this is where you can set up your stuff unfortunately it does not the setup the thing that you can set up is not going to be in the radio directly you have to connect it i don't know why but this is how it was done so what you're going to do is you can see right here there's a binding phrase right you're just going to input binding phrase here 654321 so it depends on your version it might be in different location but basically it should be in this place so the binding phrase 654321 Six five four three two one. This is my binding phrase. You are free to set up whatever you want, as long it matches with your drone. So your drone and your radio has to have the same binding phrase in order for them to work. So it can be one two three four five. It can be, it can be Express Solar S Jumper Action. Whatever you can just do whatever the one you want, as long it matches. As long both your drone and your radio matches, and it's good. Okay, so once you're done, just hit save, and basically this is complete. All right, so this is how simple it is to set it up. And yeah, if you have additional questions, please feel free to leave it at the comment section. I will see you in the next video. Bye for now.